you're listening to episode 20, Curate Your Health with special guest, Dr. Heather Hammerstead of Holist. If you are tired of yo-yo dieting and creeping weight, thank you COVID for those extra 10 pounds, this episode is for you. Holist is radical in its approach to help your body support your success instead of undermining it. I love this multidisciplinary approach and I can't wait for you to hear about it. Let's get on to the episode. Welcome to Sky Women. I'm your host, Dr. Carolyn Moyers, a wife, mom, and board certified OBGYN. This is a place to educate, empower, and inspire. Join us each week as we share the power of women's stories. Real women, real stories, real inspiration. Put on your stretchy pants, let's get going. Welcome Sky community to another episode of Sky Women. I have with us today, Dr. Heather Hammerstead. She is a board certified emergency medicine and lifestyle medicine physician in Boise, Idaho. She has an MPH from Harvard School of Public Health. She's one of the founders of a nonprofit organization, Global Emergency Care Collaborative, which provides emergency medicine training programs in Uganda. And additionally, she is the CEO of Holist, working with her background in integrative nutrition, health coaching, and medical acupuncture. She's pulled together alternative and conventional practitioners to create proactive, integrative health and wellness programs around weight, fitness, women's health, and mind-body care. Holist is breaking the mold of healthcare. Welcome, Dr. Hammerstead, to the podcast. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So I want to dive into this unique model that you have created because it really is breaking the mold. It can be done from anywhere. You've made it simple and curated. Tell us a little bit about Holist. Yeah. So, I mean, the story of how I I got to Holist, well, first off, the name is a play off of gynecologist, anesthesiologist, you know, talking about the whole, we're specialists in the whole body. My journey to here is long. I went to, to date myself, went to medical school in 2000, from 2004, and I walked into Temple like clutching a book called Healing with Whole Foods by Paul Pritchard. It's the traditional Chinese medicine book. And so I feel like I went into healthcare with the idea that food was really the entrance into long-term health and the prevention and reversal of disease. And I ended up falling in love with emergency medicine and, you know, it seems dichotomous, but when I was still in medical school, I went and got my health coaching certificate in integrative nutrition coaching. And it's always been part of my life. Then I got distracted with residency and starting your career and having kids <laughs> along the way. And a few years ago, I just sort of realized that I had all this knowledge and all this passion towards this topic, that it was a waste to like not be using it to serve people and getting tired of seeing people as a nocturnist emergency physician at three in the morning with things that could have been prevented had I met them five, 10, 20 years earlier. So that's kind of my journey to how I got there. My how the business ended up getting set up and the services that we provide have been fluid over the last few years as we've been realizing, you know, what our, what our women need. So this is amazing. You, this was almost innate in you that you were focused on the nutrition, the integrative part of medicine. Yeah. F- food and mindset and mindfulness and learning, especially over the last few years, more about neuroplasticity and the power that our thoughts have over the results that we get has been a big addition to that kind of baseline love of food and wanting to use food for a healthcare purpose instead of for just pushing our emotions down. Right. <laughs> right. We're always, we're asking the food to make us feel better. <laughs> yeah. I just always say to my clients, I'm like, the food does not love you back. It does not. <laughs> oh, True. So I love how you're combining evidence, education, empowerment to create this life changing health transformation. I was looking at some of the reviews and patient testimonials on your website. It is just fascinating. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm a nerd at heart, right? I, most of us are who go into medicine is that we really love science and we love to understand how our bodies and brains work. And I realize that not all of my clients are like that innately, but I feel really strongly that you can't just tell someone what not to eat 
for how to move their body and expect us you know, naturally wanting to be comfortable and selfish individuals to actually do that if they don't understand how their bodies and their brains work around the, these kind of topics. You know, we've all told patients or family members, you shouldn't do that, you should do that, right? But we're all innately rebellious. And right. if someone is telling you restriction, 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 most people are not going to be able to do that long term. But I feel like if I, and I have proven myself right over hundreds and hundreds of patients or clients at this point, is that like, if you speak to them with science and with understanding how their bodies and brains work in a way that they can understand no matter their background, and they internalize that, that becomes an internal motivator for people to choose healthier habits on a regular basis than just telling them to restrict. So that those habits then become automatic. Yep. Awesome. So you have this line that says your body supports your success instead of undermining it with cravings, hunger, and stalling your metabolism, which is, hap what, is what happens every time we yo-yo diet, right? Right. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Everybody's looking for the quick fix. So how do we overcome that so that our body supports our success? Well, I mean, I think that you have to amplify off of small wins first off. You know, you can't bite off too much at one step. I mean, to, to pun intended is that if you make small changes and then you have a win and you take another step and you have another win, pretty soon all those really small steps end up in a really big change. And it's more sustainable that way if you're making those small things. And, you know, those small things may be, you know, you're losing a centimeter around here or you're sleeping a little bit better or you're realizing that your brain fog is gone based on the food changes that you're making. And your body is basically showing you that the choices that your brain is making and that you are helping it give it the skills to make is going to be successful. So I love the idea of neuroplasticity. I mean, the fact that we're learning and proving that we can retrain our brain. And if we can grab hold of this in all aspects of our, all aspects of our life, diet, exercise, you know, our wine consumption, <laughs> yeah. our finances, like all of the things, right? If we can train our brain, we can really master a lot. But I think many people feel stuck. And I'll give you one particular example. It's the peri postmenopausal woman who is beside herself because she's exercising like she used to. She's eating less and she feels like she's getting nowhere. That's every person who gets on the phone with me. They say, I used to do this and it's not working for me anymore. And there's a very good reason for that. It's because <laughs> it's because we're not the same as we were when we were 20, right? So mm -hmm. you, we just the, if we just simplify it and talk about the decreased estrogen that we have when we get into our perimenopausal years, that's changing the way your insulin and your cortisol and your growth hormone and your hunger hormones all function. And we do end up getting less muscle growth unless we're working on it and more truncal obesity and moving more and eating less is not a sustainable solution once you're out of your twenties. And so really what we have to do, and this is what we do at Holus is we like really dig into what should we be eating? When should we be eating it? And why are we eating? And so getting at those three aspects of it, and it's different for every person. There's no like, you know, one size fits all solution to this because turns out we're all different. And if you get this, if you build skills in for each one of those three aspects of this is when you really get to get some success. So, you know, what I'm always saying is it's not willpower, it's skill power. Oh, yes. I love that line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It's, you can learn it. It's a learned uh, trait. Okay, so it's curated for each individual. You're talking about how every individual is different. So walk us through the process of getting on a call with, or how does the process of joining Holist work? What does that look like? And how does it get curated to each individual? How does it get customized? Yeah, you, um, you know, if someone goes to our website, holisthealth.com, you'll notice that there is no way to purchase the program. And that the reason why is because we only take people in that we know that we're the solution for. 
And we want to make sure that we can cross all those T's and get people the results that they need. So every person who comes into our program gets on the phone with one of our strategy coaches, sometimes for up to an hour and we all for free. And we just like dig in on like, where are they right now? What did they used to do? What are their goals? You know, what is it just besides the food that's going on? Because if it was just the food, right? So, you know, what are the hurdles? What are, how's stress, how's relationships, how's sleep, all that stuff, and try to figure that out. And sometimes people just be, by being on that call, you know, gets a huge amount of clarity, whether they work with us or not. And then if we decide that they're a good fit and that, you know, our solutions are going to get them the outcome that's really priceless for them, then we, we bring them in. But we have various options of mindset coaching, just plain weight coaching of, culinary strategy sessions of fitness programs. And so we really try to pull together all those services into like the perfect package for someone. And sometimes we stutter the start of them so that they don't get too overwhelmed. The the main kind of weight programs are all built around a 12 week university level course around mindset around food, around neuroplasticity, and most importantly around weight science. So really just it's me in your ear every morning explaining small pieces of the puzzle to get you through like a blueprint of really understanding that, you know, again, body, brain, how it's all working when it comes to food. So it's all in bite-sized information. It's not hours on end of coursework. Yeah. Like 15 to 20 minute audio with a transcript and some homework every day. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's come back to sleep because sleep is something that I hear women complain or be concerned about not getting adequate sleep, they can't stay asleep, all the sleep issues. And as a nocturnist, I'm sure you've had your own struggles with sleep. So I'm kind of asking for a personal level, <laughs> a personal <laughs> level. <laughs> like, let's talk about this sleep issue. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with sleep. And you know, obviously, my my approach to health is tailored around, you know, what our thoughts are creating our results. Uh, That's one aspect. And the other is with food, especially as we get older, sometimes we do wake up more in the middle of the night, whether that's to pee or whether it's just, you know, the way that our fluctuations are Uh, really important things that you can do in terms of your thoughts is to try to not think about it and try to create positive thoughts that you have in your brain about sleep. I always say you fake it till you become it, right? <laughs> so, uh, so trying to, to trying to create a a like your whole thought process around sleep being restorative, around how this night's going to be a really great night, you know, all those kind of things instead of getting stuck in the the squirrel brain. Some very specific things that we can do to help sleep in, is exercising outside in the afternoon kind of reset some of your sleep hormones, as well as avoiding carbohydrates within the few hours before you go to bed, because it actually has been shown to be associated with awakeness. And then also, you know, everybody talks about the red lights, blue lights, but trying to have more of a reddish tone to your lighting around the time you go to sleep can also help. A lot of it's just hormonal. It's like when your cortisol is going to be spiking, that's drastically related to the food that we have and your insulin resistance. It's why people who come to Holus end up sleeping better as we're unprocessing their food and helping them balance those insulin levels. But also, you know, people who have a hard time sleeping can often also be struggling with weight problems because of the cortisol spikes at the wrong time. Also, because your growth hormone is going to be affected if you're awake at a certain part of the night with your, when your cortisol is not supposed to be on. So that means that you're not going to be building muscle quite as well, which means that you're going to be having more fat storage. Yes. So women need how much sleep each night? Seven to nine. Yeah. And I would be willing to bet that most moms are not getting that much sleep. <laughs> Yes. Depends on the age of the kids, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I am really fascinated with the whole movement of of self-coaching. And I've been doing a lot of work in that recently. And so I love that you're using this approach of biology, psychology, lifestyle. I mean, it's more, it's more than just willpower, right? So talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah. I mean, the, um, when it comes to kind of the 
neuroplasticity aspect of self-coaching. I think it's really fascinating. I always think the neurons that play together fire together. And so if you have a certain way of talking to yourself that is negative, that's the results you're going to get because those are the neurons that know how to work together. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm never going to lose this weight or, oh, I look terrible or, oh, this chocolate is going to you know, help me feel less stress from work or parenting or whatever it is, those are the results that you're going to get because those thoughts create feelings and your feelings make you do things. And when you do things, that is the results that you get. Whereas you're thinking, I had a really stressful day today and I'm going to go go on a run or I'm going to go sit down and hug my children, right? Those, are, those lead to other results that you can get. I am certainly not a life coach, but this is my like simplistic way of thinking, again, like fake it until you become it. Because sometimes those thoughts about how food treats you or how your body is or how you're perceiving your relationship or the patients that you're seeing, those are simply your perceptions of what you're putting onto the circumstance. And if you can really get in there and start replacing them with like loving yourself and using food in a way that's going to get you where you want to go, you know, people have new neural pathways that they're creating in their brain <laughs> mm. to become those new subconscious thoughts. You spend 12 weeks replacing negative self-talk about you and your body and food. And it turns out you now have new subconscious thoughts that are telling you how beautiful and strong those legs are, right? Or wow. how this food is going to make me sleep better and move better and have a better relationship with myself and mirror that for my children, right? You just get totally different things out of that. It, and it becomes an internalized why as well, right? So at the beginning, when our clients come to us, sometimes we have to motivate them with some external thing, right? Like for mm -hmm. some people, it's the number on the scale. For some people, it's where the bulges are. For some people, it's wanting to play with the grandkids. But by halfway through, all of a sudden, they have this internal motivation of like, I got off my insulin or look at me running a, mile, a minute, a mile faster, right? Or like, I just picked up my kid and th danced him around the room and I didn't even feel tired, right? Those are the kind of like internal things that keep people moving forward. And we have to do that for ourselves sometimes. Yes, absolutely. That's true. I love making it an intrinsic motivator. Absolutely. Yeah. So does Holist, I know that you have a team approach Tell us about the collection of people that you have on your team. Oh, yeah, it's so great. So first off, I couldn't get anything done with a couple of my uh, administrators. So like, thank, thank God. I was thinking, I was actually on another interview earlier today, and I was mentioning that just the other day, I was thinking about how a year ago, I was doing four people's jobs <laughs> that yeah. are currently doing it now. So thankful for them, but we have our coaches for the program. Most of the programs we have, we have two coaches assigned to you, a mindset coach and a food coach. So the food coaches are anywhere from dietitian to nurses, to doctors, to nutritionists, all functioning, not in those professional roles, but with that background, able to sit back and create a coaching support section. So the great thing about coaching is like, you're not telling someone what to do. You're hearing and mirroring what it is that they want and giving them a supportive space for them to be held accountable and to be empowered. So those folks um, are all amazing. My very first coach that came to work with me was one of my first clients when I was just experimenting on everybody. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. That's fun. And then the mindset coaches are also pretty varied. We have a few different type trained life coaches from different kind of perspectives from the life coaching world. We have someone who's Brene Brown tra trained. We have a hypnotherapist. That's awesome. Okay. So with that dynamic team, then that's how you're able to really curate and customize the care that they're receiving or the information that they're receiving, whether it's mindset or dietary changes, et cetera. Yeah. So my favorite thing about my two strategy coaches that take these strategy calls that we were talking about is that they can just like 
see who they should be working with. You know, like the, mm. someone will get off the phone and be like, this is definitely a Kathy Jenny combo. Do you know what I mean? Like right. because all of our coaches, you know, they are all come with their unique experiences and their expertise. And like, not everybody is going to benefit from hypnotherapy and not everybody's going to understand the thought, mo- the Brooke Castillo, like thought model. Right. So it's been, it's been really fun to watch people thrive in that way for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I think that that's how you're getting such great results. So they're not only getting the 15 minute bite size information in their ear in the morning, they're also getting one-on-one coaching. Yep. If they choose the personal weight wellness coaching program, then they get, yeah, food coach and a mindset coach assigned to them. We do do group programs as well in which they share a coach And then everybody who's doing some sort of either fitness or weight program, we have an app that they just take photos of their food and can chat with their coach through that. So again, like we're trying to give people food freedom and not food obsession. And so we're not counting things and not counting calories. We're not like putting macros in because like, we're not all going to be on my fitness pal when we're like 80. Right. So the goal is like, (laughs) what does my plate look like? And what should it look like, you know, for me to have success, right? Oh, I love this. Yeah. So we're just taking photos and kind of boyering and commenting on it and helping people tweak things so they can see, you know, their fasting time and their eating time and how much food they had on their plate and how much protein. And then at the end of the week and they get on their coaching call and they're like, I lost three pounds and I'm feeling amazing and my sleep is better. And I like, you know, had, had conversations with family that I didn't want to have and they went better, you know, whatever. Whatever their successes are, looking back on what that week's food looked like, and that then we're getting closer to you know Carolyn 2.0's plate, right? And so right. that was before. Oh, I love that. So it's empowering them to use this for the long term, right? Yep. I, okay, I love this model because I can't track my food no. on an app to save my life. It just annoys me. <laughs> yeah. So my, I mean, I created this right for people like me who want to get success. They want it to be hard work. They want it to be long-term, but they need it to be convenient and flexible in our crazy lives, right? Because the majority of our clients are, you know, 40 to 65 year old women, and we are all busy and like have a life to take care of and businesses to run and, you know, whatever it is. And so, yeah. So I was like, what is the simplest way that I would want to receive information? I want to be able to put my phone, uh, my headphones on and do the dishes or be on a run or driving to work and hearing the information that I need. I don't want to log in and like watch a video and like, you're just never going to do that. I'm like, let's see, do I want to track my food? No. Do I want to look at an app that's like, how many calories is in an apple? Like, no, like, I don't mm-hmm. want that. What I want to know is like, create a plate of food that tastes really good that is going to get me to my goals. And I want to know what that plate should look like for me and how it's successful. So that's, that's kind of our MO around here. So do you create meal plans or do the clients create their their own meal plans? We have a collaborative with a company that has like a way that they can build their own meal plans out of collections of recipes that we have decided were kind of holist friendly in general. We don't make meal plans for the same reason that we don't do a lot of things for our clients. And that's because they need to figure out how to do it in the context of their own life. Like if I gave someone 12 weeks of like, this is what you eat every single day, first off, it's not going to work for everybody in terms of outcome and results for weight, but it's also going to like, just give them another restriction feeling like the same old dietary restriction that we (laughs) rebel against. And it's going to make it so that they don't know what to do when I'm not there. So instead I'm trying to teach them like, this is the type of food, you know, that you should be eating. Let's experiment with it over the next couple of weeks and see, you know, what your results are. And then we tweet more fat, more protein, maybe a longer window from eating. And that's how we curate and personalize it for everybody. And that way they're learning and they know what works for them and they don't need us. The goal is to work ourselves out of a job, right? Right. Right. That's awesome. Because everybody, you know, different areas of the world are going to 
eat differently. And so they're, they're all coming from a different vantage point. And so yeah. working within the context of what they're consuming and helping them just to tweak that, making those small incremental changes is really yeah, powerful. It's one of the reasons why we do have a culinary strategy session option is just for that, whether someone's in the program and they need some, not just the science and the suggestions that their coaches are making, but, you know, real, like, okay, these are four recipes from my West African grandma that I have to have in my life. How can I modify them into a holist friendly that it still tastes the way that I want it to taste and make it into 15 meals, right? And so our coach, a couple of our coaches, Karen and Katrina, they can sit down and, and do that with people really effectively. And it helps them learn how to do that with other recipes that they have of modifying and making it so that they can still get to their goals and have the food that's important to them. That is awesome. Well, I think that most women are going to find this really fascinating because everyone is searching for something and there's no easy button and yeah. weight and body image is a big piece of how we feel about ourselves as a woman, how we present ourselves, our sexual wellness, the whole ball game. And I think that you have a really fascinating market here and it's just so well done. So I just applaud you for that. And it's awesome to see that you're partnering with such a variety, such a collection of people who can really bring it all together. I mean, you, you touch more lives by doing it as a team. Oh yeah. We're, I mean, and we're all better together, right? Like there are things that they can do that I can't do and things that I can do well, that's not someone else's wheelhouse. And so kind of, I would just imagine, you know, a well-functioning team, whether it's in the emergency department or in the OR or whether it's in something like Holus is being like well approximated Venn diagrams, <laughs> right? With like the client or the patient in the middle of that overlap where all, where the rest of us are all just lifting each other up. Awesome. Awesome. It's almost like the, you know, the firefighters with the trampoline yeah. <laughs> outside the window yeah. to catch. Okay. Well, this is fascinating. And so I want to clarify because everyone's listening and they may not know Holist is actually W-H-O-L-I-S-T. Right. The word whole without the E and the ist on the end of it. So right. Holist. Yeah. And so we're at www.holisthealth.com and on social media, you can find us at Holist Health. Um, and then I have a podcast called Curate Your Health that I interview other doctors and leaders in the healthcare and wellness span of expertise anywhere you listen to podcasts. And then I have a really active Facebook group called Curate Your Health, where there's about 10,000 of us doing weekly challenges and weekly trainings. And we have webinars that we do out of there. We just did a menopausal webinar a couple of weeks ago. We have an anti-inflammatory one coming up this week. So lots of free learning and training to do with us at Holist as well. Awesome. I'm going to go join Curate Your Health on Facebook as soon as we're finished here. <laughs> and I will just a plug for your podcast. It is awesome. I love how you bring in different guests and it's very specific topics and it's easy bite size. Again, probably, you know, just what you would like to consume. I always love it because I can listen to it on a commute in 15, 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's my goal. I mean, again, like we've been talking about with everything else is I just my goal is to like, to, just to educate and do it in a way that people find it entertaining and interesting, but also will actually do it. Like who's going to listen to a 60 minute podcast, right? I mean, not me. And I invite people on with the only thing that I ask ahead of time is like, I want you to come talk about something that you wish everyone you took care of already knew. And so like approach. Yeah, I think of it like in the emergency department, like how many times do I give a chest pain rule out conversation like over and over and over again, where I wish I could just like give them a podcast that would just describe it and I could walk out and come back and ask if they have questions. I think about it like that. <laughs> That's a great approach. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a pleasure and I hope everybody goes and looks up Holist and takes advantage of uh, the beautiful collection of offerings that you have that can be customized to their particular needs. Thanks so much for the opportunity to talk to your audience. All right. All right, Sky community. Thank you for listening to another episode. This episode was sponsored by Sky Women's Health. As a reminder, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 
and we help relieve back pain and pelvic pain in pregnancy and beyond. If you are pregnant and having pain and you feel like you have no reliable way to relieve it, look us up at skywomenshealth.com, request an appointment, and we'll call to get you scheduled. As a board-certified ob with a Neuromusculoskeletal Medicine Fellowship, I help you realign with hands-on drug-free treatment and relieve pain on the spot without medication. We'll help you maintain these results through your pregnancy and postpartum period. Every pregnant person deserves this, and we are so excited to serve you. You can find us on our website, as mentioned, or on social at Sky Women's Health, or you can call the office at 817-915-9803. That's it for today. Until next week, be well.